Today is a huge moment in this franchise, folks, as year three is about to kick off with a new quarterback on this team, number 12, Damon Craig. I'll show why I changed his number here in a moment, but this is going to be a huge episode, a big moment for this franchise rebuild. Do the Rams really have their franchise quarterback? And as I said, we do change his number to 12. I just like it better than... 13 or 5, which are the previous numbers that we saw him wear. And so, I think 12 is a franchise quarterback number, and so he's going to wear it. And his first pass of the preseason is caught here for a gain of 4 by David Parson. We go to 3rd and 5, and Craig has to throw it away this time, had pressure. And the Rams go 3 and out. But then our next drive, later in this first quarter, an RPO. little keeper here for Craig. Showing off the speed. Showing that he can do some running. This pass is caught by Cup. That one gets across the 40 into LA territory. Second and six. And he's picked off. Threw it right to JC Jackson out of the reach of Cooper Cup. Jackson outruns one player. He outruns Craig. He outruns McClendon. And he's gone. And the first touchdown pass for Craig in the preseason is to the opposition. That's not very good. That one just out of reach for Cup, just out in front. And that was his last drive. He really didn't really do a whole lot in that first game. Only had four total passes, went two for four, and of course had that pick six. But upgrade point here for our other first round pick, Warren Terry. We get plus two strength and a plus one power moves. We do power moves for Byron Young, and he goes up in a couple of areas as well. And now we go into game two in the preseason, this time taking on the defending champion, Kansas City Chiefs, where Mahomes dropped eight touchdowns in that Super Bowl. We don't really get anything going besides the field goal on the first drive, but Mahomes is picked off. That's DJ Reed, number 38, our new signing in our secondary to play alongside Darius Richards. And he picks off Mahomes in the first quarter. And then up the seam is Cup. And it's a perfect throw from Craig. And there's his first touchdown to a Ram. As a first down catch for Cup on first and 10. Next play, we go play action. Craig finds Donald for a first and up across the 45. The shy of midfield. Clean pocket. This one's hauled in by Cup, breaking a tackle and brought down at the 30. We're moving the ball here against the Chiefs. Seven for eight start for Craig. But he feels pressure and he's going down. Now it's Hawkinson. But one play later, it's third down, 18 yards to go. We go to a screen for Kyron Williams. And not a whole lot of blocking out in front besides one guy. Gain of five. We're held to a field goal again. So it's 13-0 Rams. We get it back after a defensive stop. And we get this one across for a chain move and play. Parson gets another grab for his second straight first down. Craig once again, only one incompletion, 10 for 11 so far. That brings up third and 10 from the 41. Craig rolls out, throws cross body, caught it's Pukunakua. Wide open. Next play, two minutes to go in this first half. Caught by Parson. Gain is seven. After the two minute one, and we come back out. Quick throw. Once again, it's caught by David Parson. Really big first half for him. Got a lot of looks. Another one here to the outside. Then third and one. 90 seconds left. This one's hauled in by Cup in traffic. Took a shot, but he's going to be okay. Third and nine. The final play. In this game for Craig, he steps up and slides. And we're held to a field goal. And that would be it. But a much, much better day. A buck 64, a touchdown, no picks. 16 for 21. He looked very composed in the pocket. And Puka Nakua, because of his nice day here, Cooper Cup says, did you see him? Let's help this guy out and uh, have this guy improve. And I say catch and traffic. So that's what Cup's going to focus on here. And we get plus two catch and traffic for Puka Nakua. With an upgrade point for Warren McClendon, we're going to go with Agile here, get a couple of uh, 
various upgrades for him. And then we go into our final preseason game, which was the most playing time for Craig, obviously, because it's the third game against the Steelers. And Williams starts out with a couple of nice runs, and I really do think that he has a shot. He plays well in this game to honestly perhaps become the starter over new signing Khalil Herbert, who I'm not going to lie, in the preseason did not have a good performance. Simply put, we really couldn't get a whole lot on the ground with him. But with Williams, somehow, things were working. I don't really know why. But we're moving the ball here on this drive to end this first quarter. Williams up the gut, got it for the touchdown, and the Rams strike first. A much better couple of drives since that opening preseason game. Craig's pass hauled in in traffic. That is Tremaine Donald. But now we got third and ten just across our own 40. Craig, ask time, dumps it. Williams fights ahead for the yardage. And that one moves the chains. Now in plus territory. Here's Khalil Herbert. And he has his best run of the entire preseason. And going goes for like 15, 16 yards. Dump off for only a gain of one. That brings a fourth and one. We're held to a field goal. And it's 10-0 Rams. We come back out. Two minute warning to end this first half. And this one is floated up for Donald. A lot of catches here in traffic made by him. I really want to see him have catches like that all year long because that could be a huge, uh, you know, fast set that we could add to this offense. That one's hauled in by Tyler Johns. And this one's a needle threader by Craig to Donald. Now we got second and short. To the outside, there's David Parson, who has been used a lot in these short to medium yardage situations. Then Donald's wide open for the touchdown from Damon Craig. That's his first of the preseason. So now it's 17-3 after a Steelers field goal. Here's Terry hacking on the return. He cuts it back inside. He's got a hole, and he's got a big one, and there's nobody in front of him. He outraces the entire defense. The kicker is the only one left, and he's gone. And the rookie corner, Terry Hackett, returns the kickoff for a touchdown here in the preseason. If we can get anything like this at all during this season, we could be due for something special, but this time Donald drops the pass. He hauls that one in. There's nobody there to beat. He's gone for a touchdown. Got to roll that one in next time. And then Craig next play. Taken down by Wormley for the sack. And it's 24-3 Rams. Pittsburgh gets it back in this third quarter. To a sack by Vazine and Reddick. And he lost the ball. And it's recovered by Aaron Donald. The defense comes through. The pass rush had a really nice preseason. I haven't shown a, a whole lot of their highlights. But they had a couple of really nice sacks and pressures. This one's caught by Puka for a first down. Third and goal. Pressure, and he's taken down by Highsmith. Craig goes down, and that is the end of his preseason. 27-3 win against the Steelers. The defense had these guys in a complete chokehold, but Craig, 166, one touchdown, no picks. Once again, a 70-plus percentage completion rate, which is just perfect. And Williams continues to run the ball well. Donald, 63, and a score. The defense had a sack from Shelley, Terry, Ernest Jones, Aaron Donald, Kobe Turner, and Quincy Baznight. It was easy pickings for this defense, but Cooper Cup was hurt. And he is going to miss the first couple of weeks, including week one kickoff. But in preseason, two touchdowns, one pick, 72%. For Craig, he was just honestly really composed, played well, and Williams by far outshined Herbert, who only had 2.5 per carry. Williams had 6.0 on pretty similar carry amounts, and I really do think that Williams has earned the starting job for now over Herbert because he was good last year. He was good the year prior to that. He's been really good as the backup, and he was good in preseason, so he's the new starter. We also had to shade down our, our roster to 53 men, and so Devon Shade heads to our practice squad. We did cut Darion Kendrick to allow Terry Hackett to be, be on the roster. And then also, because the Texans drafted both Devontae Holiday and Nick Peters, both of them being defensive ends, and they, and they already have Will Anderson, 
I chose to move Peters to left outside linebacker where they have an aging, not so good veteran. And so hopefully Nick Peters gets playing time out there. But that is it for the preseason, folks. We are finally back. It's year three underway. Week one kicking off soon. And we're taking on Geno Smith, the Seattle Seahawks, and their tough receiving core here at Lumen Field. They've got Metcalf. They've got Smith and Jigba. They've got Tyler Lockett. And they got Noah Fan too. Can't forget about him. A tough offense to face and an, a very early test for both sides of the football. It is year three, folks, and week one is finally kicked off. And we are going to get the ball first. Here's your return man, Terry Hackett, out to the 22-yard line. And that brings out star rookie quarterback Damon Craig, the highest-rated player out of this past draft class. The third overall pick, known for his throw power at 96. He can play outside and inside the pocket. He can put on the wheels. Here's his first drive, his first snap, his first game. He's back to throw to the right side and caught by David Parson who falls ahead for eight. We fake a handoff. We go out wide and that's Donald slipping up ahead for five and a first down. Nice job getting these young players involved early on. And we are missing Cooper Cup today, so it's not going to be a fully healthy offense for Damon Craig. He's got some worse options that he would usually have to deal with as he gets taken down by Royals. A loss of 11. We tried to address offensive line by bringing in Jedrick Wills, moving Cam Robinson to right tackle. But this time, Wills and Avila both allow pressure. So that makes this first drive a lot more difficult, but can we make up the ground? Back to throw. Pressure, Craig can't get rid of it. He's sacked again. This time it's Mike Blackburn. Another loss of 11. So now three linemen have already been beat by this pass rush. That was Cam Robinson that time. Pressure again. We have to throw it away. That's going to allow Smith and the Seattle offense to start their very first job of the season in plus territory is they're starting from our 48 yard line of course not the start you want the Stephens has a very uphill battle to start their week Walker up the middle he gets five from the 43 they hand it off again and Walker breaks a tackle from Aaron Donald and he fights ahead to move the chains if he's going to be breaking tackles from Donald, we got to have some good team tackling today. Can't rely on solo tackles as Walker reels that one in after a gain of nine and some change. They go empty on second and very short already inside our 30-yard line. Gino up the seam. Got a man. It's Metcalf inside the five. And Seattle is moving the football with ease right now. I was looking for some stifling defense on both facets, the run game and the pass game, but so far, neither have looked very good on this opening drive. Walker spins out of a tackle. It does not get a whole lot. High formation. Walker up the middle. Spins off another tackle, but it's brought down at the two. That brings up third and goal. Kenneth Murray on the stop that time. They're going jumbo now. Hand off. Walker wrapped up from behind and in front. And we stop them at the two once again. Ernest Jones and John Johnson team up there to take him down. And the Seahawks will settle for a field goal. A big hold to bend but not break by this LA defense. The kick from Myers is up and it's through. And Seattle strikes first. Second drive. Coming out, it's Damon Craig. Got to put together a better one here after getting sacked twice in a row. For a total loss of 22 yards. Williams gets to give on the outside. Has a hole. Nice run of six to start this one. 
I want to see flashes from Craig. Don't need a great game or anything as Williams finds a crease. I feel like now we're just trying to establish this ground game. Try and be careful with the pass rush. And Craig is going down again. David Parson gives it up this time. He got completely bulldozed by Nwosu. Three different players have now allowed a sack. Four have allowed pressure. We go to a screen on third and long. And we don't get a whole lot. This pass protection is being absolutely torn to shreds. A fantastic punt means that the Seattle Seahawks have to go 97 yards if they want to score a touchdown. Out route caught. JSN goes for three yards. I'll give Gino a bit more space to throw. But I wouldn't be surprised if they go on the ground again here with Walker, who's had a pretty solid day so far. They will hand it off after a fake jet sweep, and he fights through a couple defenders and gets four. We just can't bring this guy down behind the line. Last play of the quarter. Drop back for Smith. Quick throw. Caught by Lockett. First down. First play of the quarter, out to Njigba. From their own 20. Smith, pressured, throwing cross body off the mark for Metcalf. Our first real sign of pressure from this defensive line. Looking to Byron Young, Hassan Reddick, Aaron Donald, Eric Armstead, Quincy Bands tonight. All those guys, all five of them. Got to get more involved here. Smith steps up, he's got space, and he's got the first. And now Donald wrapping up Walker, but he still gets positive yardage somehow. We just need one play in the backfield. Make it a third and long. Smith rolls out. Hit as he threw. Nobody in the area. Now we got third and nine. Big play right here for this LA defense. Smith has it complete to Metcalf. Seattle right now is just in complete control, controlling the tempo, doing good things in the passing game and the running game. That's a good play right there, loss of three. Ernest Jones on the tackle. Back to throw on second down. Smith on the move, dumped off incomplete. Now a true third and long as the Seahawks go five wide. Empty backfield for Smith. Pressured from Donald. Away off the mark. There's a late flag. Don't tell me it's rough in the passer. It's even worse. Three first down. And now they're across the 40-yard line. Sickening, sickening stuff. I thought we had to stop there. That was a late penalty too. This one's almost intercepted. Knocked away instead by DJ Reed. We need more plays like that from this secondary if we want to give this defense a chance. That one's broken up over the middle. Read again. Can we hold them to a field goal attempt? Smith pressured. Throwing cross body. Nobody near it except for a couple of Rams. But it hits the ground. They will settle for a field goal attempt. A long one. About 53. Kick is up, and it is in there. Seahawks up 6-0. Got to see more from this offense. Need quicker throws. We are running a, a West Coast scheme and a West Coast playbook, so this is supposed to be designed for short and medium throws. To give us just less time to need to throw it. That one's incomplete. Tried to thread the uh, needle there, and we just... Aren't doing anything on either either side. Running or passing. We hand it off on second down. Williams fighting ahead. Third and four coming up. Gotta keep this drive going. Cannot let this offense for Seattle come back on the field this early. Four yards to go. Screen play. Williams. What are you doing? You ran right into a guy. Come on, man. Terrible. I mean, through about one quarter, 
and a half. It feels exactly like last season on both sides of the ball. But we are getting better here in the run game as Walker is averaging less than two yards a carry at this point. That's good news. Had a first, had had a first couple of good runs, but has since way slowed down. But eight yards to go on second down. Floated in traffic, broken up. Intended for Smith and Jigba. Murray and a couple other guys there in traffic. That brings up third down. From their own 25. Smith pressured, gets it away, and it's holding by Fant. Richards in the area, but Fant is too big for him. And somehow, Seattle keeps the drive going. That was actually Jordan Fuller in coverage, not Richards. Come on, man. Even when we, we are getting pressure, we can't bring Smith down. Got to get a couple of sacks and make life difficult for him. Walker to the outside, brought down by Darius Richards. But the offense so far feels like last season too. Just three, four straight drives where you just can't do anything at all. The sickening stuff. That one's way out, out of bounds from Smith. That brings up third down. Eight yards to go. Have to get to the 45 in Rams territory to keep this drive going. Need to stop. Smith. Plenty of time. And Metcalf holds it in. Every third down. We aren't pressuring Smith enough. This offensive line is doing a great job against our pass rush. Smith, another clean pocket on line again. How do you expect to get stops if you can't even make the quarterback sweat? Go back to the ground game here as Walker sheds a tackle and somehow gets five out of nothing. Just a rough first half to watch on both sides of the ball. Smith outside for a loss of one. That brings up third and six. Two minute warning here in this first half. It's been all Seattle here. Full control. Insider 10 though. Third down. Smith clean pocket. Caught. Touchdown. Smith and Jigba. To start the game with the football. And be down 13-0. With under two minutes to play. Is just awful. They're going to get it back to start the half, and our defense has to come through. But we can't complete a pass. We can't get a first down. It's been good coverage. These passes are, are, are not bad ones from Craig. We just can't haul them in. This one is broken up as well. Ten yards to go on third down. We hand it off. Are you freaking kidding me? What kind of sorry ass shit is that? Now Seattle has a free shot to add to their lead. We took off 19 seconds off the clock on that one drive. What a horrible first half. That one's broken up though by Fuller. 90 seconds to go. Smith caught wide open is Noah Fant. Literally wide open. Nobody within 10 yards. And they're already to our 42. What am I watching? This is not at all what I thought was going to happen in this game. I thought we would at least be competitive. But they have looked the far better team. Walker completely jukes out two defenders. Come on. Somebody make a goddamn play on either side of the ball. I'm already frustrated. It's, it's the first half of week one. I got to relax. But goddamn, this is awful. First down, Seattle. Inside the Rams 30, still over a minute to play. Over the middle and completes. Going to the air again. Smith somehow completes it. On the move. Tough angle throw. But the guy's wide open. Both of you, I don't care. You probably caught that. Yeah, they count it. What do you know? Shocking. Third down, though. Smith has plenty of time. Pressure, 
well, no pressure rather, and Metcalf fights ahead for the touchdown. Wow. That was a 48 second touchdown drive by the Seahawks. Going to a screenplay. Williams has blockers, but he doesn't go out of bounds. Nice job, idiot. He just wasted a timeout. Second and one. Bragg to the outside. Nakua can't get out of bounds. Another timeout used. Jesus Christ almighty. Can't do anything right in this first half. Bragg dumps it off. Caught in bounds. Last timeout gone. Three straight plays, three timeouts. You cannot be serious. Scheme something better. Nakua across the 50. It's going to be the second to last play of this first half. What the heck am I watching? No, we did what I thought was going to happen. Craig has to throw it away. We got one more coming up. 51 passing yards in this first half. 8 for 13. All five pretty much were drops by these receivers. He's got time. He's going to sling it. Hail Mary. Showing off that throw power. But I think he overthrew it. We go to halftime. Getting absolutely pummeled. Well, this game has been severely disappointing. But what's going on throughout the rest of this league? You got the Niners and Colts. Probably going to be tying at halftime. 21 apiece. High score and a fair over there. Brock Purdy having a solid first half, 14 for 17. McCaffrey a score as well. Then, the Lions on the road visiting the Browns, and they win 24 to 14. Jordan Love throws two touchdowns. He's on the, now the quarterback in Detroit. What? What is happening? Where's Jared Goff, and what happened to uh, the Packers? But at halftime, or nearing halftime in Denver, Broncos down. By seven to the Chargers. Herbert, a buck 49, one touchdown. But we did nothing good in that first half. Nothing good at all. Seattle starts with the ball here in the second half. From their own 22 on the ground. Walker wrapped up. Well, he fights ahead for six. Four yards to go on the ground again. Walker only gets two, and now Metcalf is shaken up. Never root for an injury, but that is good news for this Rams defense who have had their struggles guarding him in this game to this point. Two yards to go. Play action. Smith. Crossbody throw. Deep shot. Picked off. It's Richards. His first that we've seen. It is first in year three. Absolutely crucial play from this defense. We finally force a mistake from Geno. And Darius Richards, our X-Factor star corner in his sophomore season, picks off Smith, going for her. Smith and Jigba down the sideline. And out comes Craig. Can the offense use this and start to gather some momentum? We need it badly. Got to put together a couple of first downs. But Williams loses or gains a yard, actually. Second down and nine. Quick drop step. Harson gets six. From midfield. Three yards to go for a third down. We hand the ball off. Williams has it. Breaking a tackle with a stiff arm. We're finally in plus territory for, I think, the first time this game. Williams has ran the ball pretty well so far. We go play action on first and 10, though. As time, Craig off the mark. Really broken up. It was a pretty good throw. But in traffic, that brings up second and 10. Want to get a bit further, just make sure that we're in field goal range. We go play action again. Plenty of good coverage. And that one is pulled in by Tyler Johnson. Is getting some playing time with Cooper Cup out. That was Craig's biggest pass so far. 24 yards on that one. 
Williams inside zone, breaking a tackle. And he'll break another one, fighting ahead. Tough run, first down. Williams showing off the power running. First and goal from the five, or best drive yet. Let's make this one count. Craig drops back. He's got time over the middle. Caught touchdown, Jermaine Donald. That's Craig's first. And the first on the year for Los Angeles. A big moment in the career of Damon Craig. And he finds the sophomore receiver, Tremaine Donald, in the end zone for his first six points. Bumble on the return. And we pick it up. It's ours. Ernest Jones recovers on the kickoff fumble. They lost it, and the Rams have it in the red zone. We get it right back. No booth review. It's ours. Can you believe it? The Rams have life here in Seattle. Craig drops back. Immediate pressure. He throws it away. Good awareness that time. We got to make this drive count, too. We cannot just be held to a field goal. Craig. Good protection over the middle. He's got Donald once again inside the five. First and goal coming up for the Rams. All of a sudden, things are going our way. From the two-yard line, Williams in the backfield. We hand it off. Williams has a hole in there, untouched. Touchdown, L.A., back-to-back. -back. One score game here in Seattle. So after not even having a chance to come on the field after our first touchdown, the Seahawks are finally back out there after Geno Smith's pick that we turned into a touchdown. But now it's only a six-point game. Love seeing plays on special teams and defense turn to points as Fuller brings down Walker after a short gain. The run defense has done a very, very good job since those opening first couple of carries. Nine to go on second. Smith has good protection. Dumped off for Walker. Good wrap up by Duke Shelley. Metcalf has not yet returned to this game. On third and four, Smith audibles. Walker goes out wide. That's going to be DJ Reed on him, I think. And that's a first down. Caught across the 35. That is Wilkerson. I'm not familiar with him. That does move the sticks. Walker to the outside. Has plenty of room. Somebody take him down. It's Fuller. Well, that was Walker's best run so far. And now we're, we're kind of hoping for a defense. To hold the Seahawks here. Not allow another first down. Crossbody throw. Nowhere close. Let's morph Geno into some tough throws here, fellas. Get some pressure on him. Need better stuff from Byron Young and Aaron Donald. Walker. Only gets a couple. Huge third down right here. They're going to go empty. They need nine for the first down. Smith. Taken down. It's Quincy Bads and our first sack today. And it's a big one and a big moment. We're going to force a punt and give this offense the ball back. And they're hot. A big play from the sophomore pass rusher. Trying to get back to star dev this season. Out comes Kyron Williams and this Los Angeles offense. We've ran the ball very well. We start this drive in the pistol. I've not seen Khalil Herbert at all so far. The new signing that we brought in. As that pass goes to Nakua for a short four. And we just fall started. We don't see too many penalties from this offensive line. Well, that's going to back us up, of course. Anything to make our life more difficult. That was Cam Robinson, by the way. We're going to pass here on second down. Craig rolls out. Dump seed off. It's caught. Tough throw. Dangerous one, too, but it is hauled in. Gain of five. Tyler Johnson. His second grab of the contest. 
from the 21 on third down. Don't want to punt it this early in this drive. Williams can't break two tackles. Why are we just stump it off there, man? A three-yard throw on a six-yard third down. Sickening stuff. The Seahawks haven't scored yet here in the second half, but here's their third drive coming up. They start from their own 28. Still up by six. This one is somehow hauled in. Ernest Jones has to at least bat that one down. That one went right past him. But Wilkerson once again makes a grab for a first down, and that might end this third quarter. No, nope, one more play. Walker on the ground up the middle. He's got a hole. Fuller takes him down from behind. We're going to the fourth. Down 14-20. How many times have we had to see this team throughout the entire franchise rely on the defense to get a stock to give us a chance late in these games? It happens way too often. Wilkerson, tough grab. That brings up third and one. These receivers for Seattle can do no wrong, it seems. Everyone's making tough grabs in traffic. They're getting open. Everything's going right for them. This one's caught on the outside. Walker in the flats for the first. Now they're in plus territory. High formation. Walker up the middle. Tries to cut it outside, but can't get much. This pass defense has to come through. We can force a punt or a long field goal here. This one's off the mark for Walker, though. Gino Smith simply missed his target. The defense gets off the field, and after a horrible punt, we set up shop on our own 23. Got to drive down the field to score and take this lead. But Williams ran right into a defender again. The second time he's done that today. We gotta start really putting some drives together all the way down the field, but we're gonna hand it off on second and 11. It's gonna work. Williams gets across our 30. Third and two. Are we in third down territory if it comes a fourth and one, fourth and inches? Probably not this early in the fourth quarter, but Williams gets the first, so we don't have to worry about it. From our 34, Craig, quick throw, caught. Williams on the halfback wheel. Six grabs for 30 yards. Williams has been heavily involved in this offense. He'll get the carry again. And he is trying to fight for yardage, but he loses three instead. Bounced off three different defenders. Now another third down. I think now it kind of is four down territory. This one caught for the first down. Nakua in traffic. Hauls it in. Just over five minutes to go. This is where things get dicey, folks. Williams to the outside. Cuts it back in and lost it. And the Seahawks recover. No. And Kevin Dotson's going to the locker room too. No. A costly turnover from a guy who was having a really solid performance. Now we once again turn to our defense to keep us in this game. A field goal pretty much seals it for the Seahawks. And they're already in plus territory. From the 47, Smith to the outside. Got it. It's Fant. The defense has just given us chance after chance, man. I feel like it's every game with this crap, no matter who we have on this team. Insider 40, though. Smith pressured. Incomplete. Don't tell me there's a flag on us. Please. Now they're going to win. They're so far in field goal range. This game's over now. 3-10 to play. Ref show ends it. Smith broken up by Richards. They go to the ground. Walker wrapped up. Seven to go on third down. Just inside the red zone. Hand it off again. Reddick is there. Really has not done anything at all today. 
Just a second tackle. No pressures, no sacks. We're going to hold him to a field goal attempt after the two-minute warning. We're going to be down by nine. The defense played great in the second half, but it hasn't mattered. The offense, when having to drive down the field more than a couple of first downs, has been simply unable to do so. I can't tell if it's bad offense or good defense. It feels like more so good defense, but also just bad catching in traffic from some of these Rams receivers. This game's out of reach. Craig all dump it here. First down, Tyler Johnson. Trying to make this game look closer than it actually is. There's Nakua. Cross the 50. Play action. Good blocking by Williams. Outside and caught by Donald. Inside the Seahawks. 35 now. Play action again. Craig over the middle. Missed. Nakua wide open. That would have been a touchdown. That's been his first real off the target miss on a deep shot. Simply put, we lost this game in the first half. Because of the offense. That's it. Couldn't move the ball. 20 to 0 at halftime. Hard to come back from that. Just could not get anything going on offense. And besides the drives that were just pretty much gift wrapped for us, the defense had a rough first half, brought it back in the second. But by that point, the offense had completely let, let us down. And Craig was pretty good. 70% completion percentage, sacked three times, all of which came in the first quarter. No picks, no real throws that should have been picked off. And had a lot of passes that were just dropped by receivers or knocked away by defenders. On the ground, Williams ran the ball well besides the fumble, which lost us the game essentially. Just uh, such, such a brutal fumble, man, because that drive was actually going somewhere. Metcalf, 82 in a score before he got hurt. Between Donald, 43 in a score. And blocking, who allowed all the sacks? One for Robinson, one for Wills. One for David Parson as well. So it was all, all, all those three guys. Defense, we only had one sack, and that was for Baz Knight. Nothing from Donald, nothing from Byron Young, nothing from from uh, Hassan Reddick. Got a pick from Richards, though, which is always nice. Donald says that we got to step up next time. Everyone's disappointed. I agree. And talking about the performance of the quarterback, Damon Craig. Tough game all around. But it's not all on him. Upgrade point here for Warren Terry. I think I want to work on the power moves this time around. Didn't see a whole lot from him in this past game, but hopefully we can see more of him going forward. Upgrade point here for Donald now. Still want to work on our route running, but I think we could probably just work on the catching in general. So... We'll do slot. So we're going to wrap up here. We're going to see what's what and go from there. But thanks guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on the team's performance. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.